Hi, I'm Sina and I'm your design journey art class expert for drawing animals. In this session, we'll focus on how animal consists of some primitive shapes. We can put these primitive shapes together to get the correct body proportions. In this session, I'll use two different types of pastel pencil sets. I will also use a drawing pencil set. This set basically contains everything you need to start sketching. Some blending stamps, white acrylic paint and a paintbrush, and a ruler. And lastly, a masking tape. All animals consist of primitive shapes. And by primitive shapes, I mean for instance rectangles, spheres, or triangles. These building blocks composed together make up the animal. It is easier to understand if you place the photos on top of each other. And this technique of drawing and thinking is applicable for every animal. Let's explore it together and start from the beginning on a blank sheet of paper. Before I start drawing, I need to just take a look at my reference photo of a reindeer. I'm trying to look after the main shapes. First, I draw the middle and the upper body with a graphite pencil. I do not care about any details for now, only the main shapes. I don't want these sharp angles between the main shapes, so I try to round them off. You don't need to study the muscle and the bone autonomy in detail to draw animals. Having a good understanding of the basic shapes is enough. Both the upper and the lower part of the legs are bending outwards, compared to the knee, which curves in the opposite way. Pay attention to these details and figure them out by studying your reference photo. After drawing the main shapes and rounding them off, I add details to them. This is the part where I go more deeply into every single shape, trying to make them a bit more realistic. I start drawing the single antler closest towards me. I try to copy a few elements of the first antler when I draw the second one, just shifting some of the structures. Also, I keep the antlers quite thick to avoid complicating it with details. Now I'm going to color the reindeer with pastel pencils. These pencils are suitable for blending with blending stamps to create nice color transitions and shades. I start to outline the reindeer with uh, the pastel pencil set containing brown pencils and white pencils. I'm going to fill the reindeer with a brown color as a base using blending stamps. Pastel pencils are easy to blend together and come in a nice range of different colors. In addition, they are highly pigmented, so you can draw on paper with many different colors. I'm adding some white color to highlight the fur. Notice that reindeers have velvet-like skin on their antlers. The fuzzy velvet has a lot of blood vessels, carrying nutrients to the antlers and make them grow fast. When the antlers are done growing, the reindeer peels off the velvet by rubbing it against trees. I 
decided to erase the hooves because the black pastel did not match with the fur. They got way too dark. So I use a light shade of brown instead to create more balance. Now it's time to start on the background. Here I'm thinking of creating a sunset sky with colors ranging from black, blue to purple and to orange and yellow. To make the background more vibrant, I add some more layers of colors and blending them in. Switch to circular motions to add pastel on the paper more effectively. In addition, circular motions creates a more even layer of colors. After finishing the background, I think it will look good with some trees behind the reindeer. To create some sunshine, I will use a white pastel pencil and a ruler just like this. Lastly, I'm adding some white acrylic paint to create snow.
And last but not least, removing the tape. I would love to see your results from this session. Feel free to use the hashtag MyDesignJourney and share your artwork on Instagram with us.